Hi, Wyatt here from Delbio Consulting. In today's tutorial, we're going to dive into Zoho Mail and walk you through the process of adding your domain and verifying your DNS records. Whether you're setting up Zoho Mail for the first time or need a refresher, this step-by-step -step guide will ensure you're up and running smoothly. Let's delve right in. Once you're inside Zoho Mail, you need to head over to the top right-hand corner and click the profile picture. Under that, click on admin console. Once your admin console opens up on the left hand navigation bar, click on domain and let's add a new domain. The next step is to verify this domain. You have two options. One is log into my DNS or manually configure it. For this instance, we're going to go with manually configuring it. And the reason being is this is the biggest challenge that we've seen clients face. So I'm going to click on configure manually and we're going to copy this record, go into our DNS. Once you're in the domain's DNS, let's add a TXT record. We either leave the name as blank or enter in the at sign. In the content section, we'll paste in the verification record and save. Once that's done, we'll head back into Zoho Mail and we'll verify the TXT record. Once the domain has been verified, now we're going to proceed to add in the DNS records. And we'll start with the MX records. There's three MX records that need to be entered. We'll copy the first one, head back into your domain's DNS. Let's add the first MX record. You can leave again the name as at or blank. Enter in the mail server and the priority, which is 10. Once this is done, let's head back into Zoho Mail. We will copy over the second MX record, which has a priority of 20. Again, we leave the name either as blank or the at sign, the mail server, and we'll enter in the priority as 20. Once that's saved, again, head back into Zoho Mail, copy the third MX record, You can leave the name as blank or the add sign, enter the mail server and the priority is 50 and save. Once that is done, we will now copy the SPF record. So let's click on view SPF record and we will copy the SPF record from here. Go back into your DNS, add record. We will choose a TXT record for this. Leave the name as blank or enter the add sign for the content, we'll enter in the SPF record and then we'll save. Once this is done, head back again into Zoho Mail. For the final record, we'll copy the DKM record over. So we'll start with the host name as zmail dot underscore domain key. Copy that. Let's go back into your domain's DNS and now we'll add another TXT record. In the name section this time, we'll copy in the host name from Zoho Mail. Once that is done, we will copy in the value and we'll paste the value in the content section and we will click save. Once you have entered the three MX records, the SPF record and the DKM record, click on verify all records. Now keep in mind that the DNS records may take a while to propagate. It could be anywhere from instantly to 30 seconds to an hour all the way up to 24 hours. And that depends on the domain provider that you have. And that's it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to add your domain and verify DNS records in Zoho Mail. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Zoho tips and tutorials. Hit the bell icon and get notified whenever we post a new video. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.